Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the conflict has caused multiple disruptions to the global food supply chain. Indonesia is now seeking alternatives to address the challenges. That includes working with the private sector to ensure food security and a well-functioning agricultural sector. Farmers are also encouraged to use sustainable solutions to boost farm production. Johnny Vidvani reports. Efrina Ginting has been farming hydroponically for the last eight years. After working with agritech firm Belief Farms, she has now scaled up, using nearly 1,000 square meters of space spread over three greenhouses across two locations in West Java. Saya nanam pakcoy itu sedikit. Jadi waktu saya mau panen ya saya tawarkan, ya mereka ambil. Awalnya di situ. Nah, udah ke situ, mereka nawarin gimana Bu kalau seandainya nanamnya sesuai dengan permintaan kita, tapi satu kebun itu satu item yaitu pakcoy aja. Dari situ awalnya. Having started out in 2019 and finding success as a hydroponic farm, the team at Belief soon realized that more was needed and could be done in Indonesia's horticultural sector. A lot of farmers are actually underperforming in terms of yield and quality, especially in comparison to other South uh, East Asian countries. So we decided that rather than continuing to build our own farms, we would instead help existing farms. And uh, what we do is we help farms with their um, inputs, their crop management, crop rotation, and we have our agronomists and supervisors work with them to improve their yield and quality. And upon harvest, we offtake all of their produce. The produce belief purchases from farmers is then processed at the company's facilities in West Java. The company has multiple greenhouses and several research farms. Research and development is crucial in determining agriculture productivity and affects food prices. Lubangnya antara ini berapa itu kita juga ada risetnya. Jadi nggak bisa tinggal oh, lubangnya banyak nih, lubangnya banyak gini juga nggak akan bisa karena kan patokannya adalah ini adalah media tempat si akar itu tumbuh. Jika itu media terlalu kecil di tempat uh, production dia akan ke, ke hanyut oleh air. Jadi kalau kebesaran juga kita akan terlalu banyak kos. Having secured nearly 40 partner farmers so far, getting them on board isn't always the easiest task. Uh, ini seperti cari jodoh sebenarnya ya. Memang ada petani yang sangat sulit gitu ya. Karena mungkin dia tahu market, dia maunya harga pasar terus. Padahal yang membedakan kan kita dengan Yang lainnya adalah kita sudah bermitra, hasilnya sudah pasti kita ambil, walaupun kita tidak ada off takernya gitu ya. Generally, smallholder farmers get the least benefits in the food chain system, but the partnership with private enterprises could change things for the better. President Joko Widodo has previously called on companies to work with micro, small, and medium enterprises, including farmers, to boost the competitiveness of MSMEs. Dengan demikian, bagaimana peran sebuah perusahaan adalah melakukan transfer pengetahuan, teknologi, memperluas akses pembiayaan, memberi bantuan distribusi hasil pertanian, dan membuka akses pasar, baik nasional maupun ekspor. While agronomists at Beliefs Farms are working hard on methods to increase yields, they also need to ensure how the produce can be efficiently transported to customers. The produce is distributed and sold through five channels. Export, hotels, restaurants and cafes, online vendors, local markets and supermarkets like this one. And you can see some of the farmers' names on the packaging as well. For those at Belief, the challenge isn't sustainability. The different farming methods like hydroponic and like organic means uh, there's more cost incurred when we are producing the item. So then naturally it will be reflected on the price that we bring to the market. So I think the, there's, a, there's a lot of emphasis in the company to try to see if we can improve that. With increased attention and awareness in recent years among consumers wanting to know where their produce is coming from, companies like Belief Farms may be on the right track in empowering farmers via sustainable solutions and helping to ensure food security for a better future. Chani Vadvani, CNA, Jakarta.